Boy, I send you to bring Link on Claire home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! It's party time. <laughs>so we're just at the Federal Reserve yeah, now. Story that. mission That's unlocked. This changes everything. All right. These people are not going to be nice to Lincoln in here. I don't think so. They're going to call them bad glass. names. That's for sure. We're They're going to be very racist. Through. Children, embrace your ears. Cover them. Because it's What's about to get sick. What's doing here? <sighs> Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Hey, brother. Hmm. All right, well, let's go on in. I think we're already in, are we? You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Where'd you go, Mr. Guard? Oh, look at us. We're going slow. This stuff's heavy. Heck yeah. All I like the, the real-time physics, though. That's kind of cool. All those guys standing around, you don't think any of them can help a brother out? That gun. Of course not. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Look at the sideburns on that guy. He's got those mutton chops. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I like the I nice, like, southern cool accents. Y'all's nice. over in Georgia for a while. Mm -hmm. He just got out the service. <gasps> and my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard of <sighs> Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. But that old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. Whatever you say, sir. Now what? Let's go. You guys can open it. Okay. We got our hands. Oh, he did cool. use this key. <laughs> it didn't really look like he used the key. I don't think he really did. I think he just made. His, he waved his magic wand. <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Holy Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Eh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. I think we're gonna steal all this stuff. Here we are. I think we rightfully should. I think, I think that sounds about right. All right, now what? on the table there. Yeah. They lock a door behind us. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, how much of a good idea yeah, is this that? detail before? Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy coming around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. No, I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't Which get one's burning the goddamn burn? place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose. Has to be this guy. Off the walls. 
Oh, yep. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, he's on fire. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming oh, up anytime. Oh. Uh, give me a sec. These environmental kills are crazy. Right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Can we just throw him in the pit? It says push down. We gotta do something with him. Oh, he's all bloody. Throw him nobody, in the fire. Nobody can realize what's going on. Can you just throw him in there? No. Oh my gosh, do you see his face? Oh. That is so freaking brutal, you man. Or at least drag him to the corner or something. Right, I can't let him be seen, really. If I put him over there in the corner. I think over here looks like a good spot. Alright, he's kind of really hidden. Sorry, dude. Sorry, but not sorry. Alright, now what? Oh, we gotta stealth kill this dude. What? Oh yeah. There's I a told lot of guys you. I told there. you about to steal some stuff. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two here, weeks. Dude. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at he's night. He's still talking, but he's dead. Told oh, y'all when they one. moved in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. Who is this they talking? See that? They start questioning me, wanting to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas make this guy's gonna talk the niggas, I say. I'm Fucking assholes. Say like this. Sorry. We're, we're good. Just gets my blood boiling. He's trying to shoot. We should, oh, you should have got him when he's trying to shoot. No, that's what I was trying to do for a second there. I think we're going to be all right, though. Your mind, buddy. Boom. Goodbye. Into the vault. I'll drag their little body somewhere. Oh, yeah. They got to go somewhere. Oh! <gasps> oh, no, that's our friend. That's our friend. Nah, bro. Nope, where did we just come from? We're going to throw all these guys in the corner, in the corner because we don't want anybody to actually come back here. Right. That's the wrong corner. In there, keep on. Yeah, That's I was just wondering, what the heck? Right? Dude, we got to hide these bodies over here in the hole. You got to wait for a second, man. We gotta, we're just going to set them all on top of each they other. They can just one, be buddies. One on top of the other. That'll stop us from getting caught later. Come on, we need We're not leaving the trail, man. We gotta hide these Stop bodies, going Carl. Down. I wish I could throw them in the burner. That would be the best thing ever. It, it seemed like I could. But it won't let you. Maybe that's just too brutal. Well, at least you got them all. That is the most awesome. Up. Look at this. <laughs> They're all just laying there. Three bodies right on like top of each other. Potatoes. That is great. You'll thank us later, Carl. Whatever your name is. Alfred Erickson. Oh, I hope this combination of the goddess is legit. Georgie. Let's go, guys. How do you know the whole combination and everything? He knows the guy. His face looks burnt. You mm -hmm. see his face? I'll be damned. His teeth look right, like he's got braces on. Oh, let us open it, right? Where are your muscle, man? You don't do nothing. He's the brains behind the operation. We kill everybody, we drag the bodies. No money. Oh, snap some money, I was wrong. Fucking shit. Look at our face, our face is jacked up too. We got acne. You see what you can get from outside. Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Nice. Oh. Uh, yep. Damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't know that this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. You better pull it off, man. Oh, 
Oh, here comes that oh, guy. Oh, no. Pin Georgie. Hold off the guards until death. Oh, boy. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking robbery. I'm going for What do you think he's doing? I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my gosh! <laughs> One shot and done. Oh boy, this shotgun is deadly. Goddamn hand here! Oh, that is so great. Do you see these guys fly? Oh, he's gonna hell as a cow. Yeah, bro. You got shot. Oh, you got shot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some bitch had me picked. He's reloading. You can set aim assist to low, high, or turn it off. To set aim assist, press the options button, navigate to the options menu, then select control. Okay. Well, he's twitching still. I don't know if he's dead. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Let's do this, bro. Try open the armory gate. What, this one? One that he's working on, I guess. Give me that damn thing. <laughs> Give it to me, man. Oh, he's got blood oh, all over his snap. face. He got all hit up, too. Lock pulling. Step one, expose lock. Rotate your left stick until it's in the green zone, then press square. R? Is it R? Square circle. Square? We'll see. Pull the lock, press whatever it is when the indicator is in the green zone. Mm. Good enough. Square. square. Gotcha. First try. That wasn't too bad. Not bad at all. Grab the Hartman machine gun. Oh my gosh. This it's is gonna get killer. Shotgun, though. Regroup with Georgie. Yeah, with the smoke. Shit, man, on, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Alright, Georgie. What's he think he's doing? Come on, guys. Did well, they Sammy kill us? had men all over the place. Uh, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. <laughs> so is this before we were there? I'm guessing this is all before this actually happened right here. You just come from Vietnam? Yep, That's this right. is us originally. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. <sighs> Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. <laughs> kind of great was that? Oh, sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about Everybody it. Everybody with the sideburns, man. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just show up with beers in his hand? I'm not sure. How There's was the trip? Be as how this is the first time in four years, and yep. somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> Yeah, mm. five o'clock What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on pops. 
He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. My Lincoln Clay, he's a beefy dude, huh? Just like I left her. <laughs> Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. <laughs> you got a pretty sweet ride. Let's roll. Oh, Sammy's doing oh, yes. Ever happen. since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. This car is so nice. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Rides so fast. Holy jeez. Crashing on sweet, sweet, sweet You guys watch out for me. We only got one rear view mirror. I'm the king around here. Yep, Did that's all that I really want, anyway. Police awareness. The police will attack if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within range of their awareness. Police awareness is indicated by a blue police awareness indicator in the center of the screen. Don't forget us thrown in jail now. You remember Marty Ron Langford? Sure. Oh, he he moved up to there. Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say sure. I stop. Free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed, that ain't nothing to nobody, but this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't yeah, selling nice no dope right to no there. children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. But we'll still clear the high low with Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we get him to take the reaction. Oh, no, Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Traffic crimes must not be that big of a deal. Unless I run into something. You gotta be as careful as possible. Once you get settled in, Why you gotta roll out like that, dude? Club in the French uh, Ward. Maybe double data. Well, who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've oh. ever seen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, oh, you'll go with Regine. Right? right at the end, too. Believe me, once you... Maybe when we come out, we'll come back in our car, we fit. That's what I'm hoping. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Welcome back, baby. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so, so proud of you. Paul Lincoln, be 
Bienvenue à la maison. Bon week-end. Bienvenue à la maison. <rire> It's party time. We're getting kissed all Oh, that's the preacher that's telling the story. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. He is beating. They are getting their crunk out. Man, <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. All right, guys, and that's exactly where we're going to stop it at for today. This is just getting interesting. The story's already starting to get deep. So we are a Vietnam, I'm guessing a Vietnam vet that just came back from war. And it looks like our father and our family are probably a part of the black mafia or mob. I can't really quite tell and make it out exactly 100% yet. But uh, we've got some trouble that we're about to get into. And they're about to use us as their main asset to this crime that we committed at the very beginning. <laughs>